man sneaks into Area 51 and accidentally finds something unusual. One of the most secret and mysterious premises in the United States of America and possibly the world is Area 51. The U.S. military base is located in the middle of the desert of Nevada, which is about 80 miles northwest of Las Vegas. There are many claims that Area 51 has an underground facility where reverse engineering is being carried out on spacecraft that allegedly belongs to extraterrestrial aliens. The wreck of the much-famed Roswell UFO crash is believed to be kept in Area 51, where reverse engineering is being done on the craft. The U.S. military and the federal government have always refuted the possibility of these claims being true. But there are many pieces of evidence that certainly prove a strong connection between Area 51 and aliens. If you're enjoying our videos, be sure to like and subscribe. Also, hit that little bell icon to be notified every time we post a new video. In 1954, President Eisenhower authorized the development of a top-secret, high-altitude recon aircraft dubbed Project Aquatone. The program required a remote location that wasn't easily accessible to civilians or spies. Area 51 fit the bill perfectly. No one knows exactly why it's called Area 51, but one theory suggests it came from its proximity to the Nevada nuclear test sites. The Nevada test site was divided into number designated areas by the Atomic Energy Commission. The location was already familiar territory for the military, as it had served as a World War II aerial gunnery range. In the summer of 1955, sightings of unidentified flying objects were reported around Area 51. That's because the Air Force had begun its testing of the U-2 aircraft. While Air Force officials knew the UFO sightings were U-2 tests, they couldn't really tell the public. So they explained the aircraft sightings by saying they were natural phenomena and high-altitude weather research. The testing of the U-2 ended in the late 1950s, but Area 51 has continued to serve as the testing ground for many aircraft, including the F-117A, A-12, and Tacit Blue. People from the nearby towns have reported sightings of strange lights which are seen hovering over the alleged alien investigation camp in Area 51. As per eyewitnesses, the lights did not look like they were coming from fighter jets or other earthly aviation units. Ex-aerospace engineer Boyd Bushman, who was deployed at Area 51 for a long period of time, has shared photos of humanoid creatures that do not belong to the Earth. In a statement, Bushman also confirmed that the staff of Area 51 are a mixed bag of Earthlings and extraterrestrial beings. Ex-physicist Bob Lazar, who was working at Area 51, had been employed to reverse engineer supposed alien aircraft, which were captured and taken to the underground vault of Area 51. Lazar, for some reason, decided to break his oath of keeping secrets of Area 51 concealed in his mind and revealed strange facts that point towards direct connection of aliens with Area 51. In the hangars at S-4, Lazar claimed he saw flying saucers, apparently extraterrestrial in origin. They were powered by antimatter reactors, fueled by a mysterious reddish-orange substance called Element 115. The device generated a gravity wave so powerful that if you threw a golf ball in its direction, the balls would bounce off. Lazar also has recalled that while being guided down a hallway at S-4, he momentarily glanced through a small window and caught a glimpse of a small, gray extraterrestrial standing between two men dressed in white coats. Before he could get a better look, he was pushed by a guard who told him to stop looking and keep moving. The underground hangars that contained captured UFOs, according to Lazar, were actually carved into the base of a mountain. Each had an entrance with a giant door with a simulated sand texture to blend into the landscape. There is video footage that shows an ex-engineer from Area 51 claiming that there were four live aliens who used to be stationed in Area 51 and worked alongside humans. The engineer had worked at Area 51 from 1966 to 1979. Another whistleblower who also claimed to have worked at Area 51 said in a 1997 radio interview that he had witnessed an alien interrogation and even provided a grainy video which supposedly shows a human officer trying to communicate telepathically with a diminutive extraterrestrial pilot who had been shot down by the U.S. military. Adding fuel to the alien theories, Ray Santilli released a video in 1995 that purported to show an alien autopsy after the Roswell crash. Later, he admitted that it was a fake, though he maintains that it was based on actual footage. In July 2014, a tourist named Sandra reported the sighting of a real UFO over Area 51. She had filmed the UFO's flight while she was traveling through the desert and was recording the area using her movie camera from a bus window. She spotted something flying really fast, and before she could even react, the object was gone. On reviewing the film that she had taped, she could realize that what seemed to be a flying bird looked to be an alien UFO. 
There are many conspiracy theories regarding the kind of work that is carried out there in Area 51. Until 2013, the government never acknowledged the existence of something called Area 51, although it was an open secret for decades. So many varied theories about the purpose of Area 51 make it easy to believe that the base actually serves the aliens or is used for alien-related projects, and that is why there are so many conspiracy theories. Some have suggested that the base has fake scoot and hide buildings, designed so that aircraft can be slid underneath them and hidden when a satellite is scheduled to pass overhead. Others have claimed that most of the base itself is actually hidden from view, and that a massive underground facility with as many as 40 levels lies beneath the surface. Many conspiracy theorists suspect that the base has been co-opted by extraterrestrials and that the little gray beings now are either sharing authority or even running the show. One suspicion is that they've set up laboratories in which they're working, possibly alongside government scientists, in an effort to breed a race of human-alien hybrids. Others think the aliens have an even creepier purpose. The alien-human hybrids, who are under alien control through some sort of electronic implant, are being created as a supply of organs that the extraterrestrials need to replenish their own bodies. It could well be that the government long ago moved its secret research to other, even more remote locations, while subtly encouraging public curiosity about Area 51 to keep us all looking in the wrong place. However, Area 51 has one of the toughest securities in the whole world. Trespassers are supposed to be shot with heavy weapons without any warning being given to them. Such high security gives a notion that it has to be the aliens who government is trying to cover up. No one knows for sure what Area 51 is up to these days. The government never even publicly acknowledged the existence of the base until 2013, as we mentioned earlier, with the release of declassified CIA reports. But if you're ever at the Las Vegas airport, keep an eye out for some small, unmarked passenger planes in a fenced-off area. Those are how Area 51 employees get to work from their homes in Vegas. All right, Top Fivers, if you haven't already, make sure to visit our other channel, The Brilliant, for even more interesting list videos that'll blow your mind. But I'm warning you, the videos over on The Brilliant are extremely addicting to watch as well. There'll be a link in the description to the channel, so make sure to come and visit us. Or you can go to our latest video popping up on screen right now. Oh, and have you visited thefinestpost.com to enjoy the most amazing articles you'll ever get to read?